Hey guys, Ballistic here, and uh, welcome back to part two of Outsmarting Your Enemies. Uh, today we will focus on energy fighting and um, using speed, hit and run tactics, and uh, your climb ability to get away from targets that would otherwise outturn you. Um, anyway, let's get right into it. Alrighty, well, uh, here I am above the clouds. Me and uh, Squadmate who's over there, he has a um, diamond above his head. We we squad together very frequently and we're pretty good at what we do, especially when we get together in 109s. Anyway, this uh, this Yak-9 decided to come after my mate, um, which, which then meant he basically lost a lot of speed, a lot of energy, and a Yak-3 Three, uh, a Yag 9, sorry, cannot catch a 109 at altitude climbing. You know, most most Yaks, maybe the Yak 3, but most Yaks you'd prefer to have low. Because that's um, the, the, the Germans avoided the Yaks whenever possible when uh, they, they were below a certain height. Because it was practically suicide. Anyway, I don't know why there, but I thought I, we were coming head on. You know, it's just me being retarded. I could have killed him right there, possibly, but I didn't. But I just move on, and instead of going into a dogfight with him over, over sh and overshooting him, I instead just go up, rise above him, come back down. As well as me and my teammate, we're synchronizing together in our hit and runs here. Communication in squad is so important, especially when you know what to do in your aircraft. And we have all the energy here, we have all the advantage. I know it's a two on one, which kind of makes it, you know, but but still, it still it still shows energy fighting really well. But in, and in the next battle, in the next example, we got a two on one that's sort of more favourable. This is a historical battle, by the way. Uh, you have one respawn, and you get more lions and XP for your actions, basically. My squad mate. Just gonna do a quick head on, but not too long, because you don't want to stay around a yak in a head on. And me, I just I don't even take the chance. I dive down, avoid him. He goes past me. I rise back up, and we're back on the chase again. Bringing a yak up to this altitude, especially against two 109. It's not only one 109, but two. Practically suicide. Even if it was a one-on-one -on -one and the yak was performing better than me, I could outrun him or outclimb him. Uh, right here, the, re the replay function, it, it, it looks like my shots are all falling short, but I hit him quite a lot there. And well, basically right after that he decides to bail out. Should have done that a long time ago. <laughs> so if, if he if he dived down towards his ground units and saved himself, then we probably wouldn't have followed him. Because AA can uh, one shot you pretty easily in this game. Anyway, on to the next clip. All right, so what we have here is uh, just a few minutes later, I've come down from uh, the cloud cover a little bit and I've snuck in behind a Yak-9 and an IL-2. That were returning from their mission and uh, they recently shot down one of our teammates so I knew that their mind was elsewhere so right here I'm just coming in behind them I'm looking at both of the targets seeing if they're moving they haven't yet so I go for the Yak-9 first obviously because it's a fighter and you want to take out the fighter first instead of something like an IL-2 what we see here is the IL-2 has spotted me and he is turning into me however I know I can get a few shots in and just uh, run away from both the Yak-9 and the IL-2. And you see here, he could have gotten me, but he didn't. Um, so he's probably around 700 metres away from me now, and and more. That IL-2, I don't know why he's trying to gain on my friend. Because me and my friend, we stick together once again. Doing pretty much the exact same thing here. We're speeding away or climbing, whichever's better. And eventually I turn around. Eventually I turn around. 
eventually. There's my there's my uh there's my buddy just doing another hit and run. I'm coming back finally. I don't know why it took so long, but anyway. Uh, that that's the IL2 there. He has pretty much almost no energy. If he goes in with a dogfight, he's gonna lose so much. If he tries to climb, he's gonna lose so much. We know he's fucked. However, the yak has a chance. And right here, I make sure I don't have a head-on with the Yak 9. Although, I'm, I'm not sure. I, I think he was out of 37mm. And you see right there, that's uh, my failed camera work. The IL-2 trying to get off some rockets onto me. But uh, he failed. And I evaded him before he rammed into me. So, there's that. I don't know if the Yak... I think the Yak was still trying to go after me. Nope. In, instead, I see that uh, my friend has once again done another hit and run for me, which has um, really made them annoyed and made them not know what to do. Really, in War Thunder, if you have if you have the speed advantage, the climb advantage, uh, energy advantage, you're gonna it's very hard to counter that. Because little by little you do more and more damage. Because dog dog fighting can get you kills um, quicker. Alright, and there's me with... I think I hit him a bit, but not too much. Once again, the replays do screw up a little bit. But anyway, what I was saying was, dogfighting, like, if you get close enough to your enemy, you'll be able to put in more shots. However, with, with hit and run, you'll be able to do little by little, maybe damage their wings, damage their ailerons, etc, etc. Right now, I'm just going after the IL-2, and it does not have a rear gunner. Uh, the Yak-9 was trying to go after me, I knew he wouldn't make it. And I also knew my teammate was going to do hit and run tactics. Anyway, yeah, hit and run tactics, very, very good. Focky Wolves and 109s working together is one of the best combinations. And it's really, really hard to counter it unless you've got like F4As. Not F4As, what am I thinking of? Um, F4Us. Or like, um,. Other aircraft like that working together, or um, in, in the newest updates, there may be like the MiG-3. Anyway, I just go to town on that IL-2, hitting almost every shot. Of course, the replay doesn't show that. Um, and then I disengage because I know he's going to burn out. And also the fact that the Yak-9 is catching on me, so I don't want to, you know, focus on this IL-2 for too long. And that's the IL-2's rear part ripping off. I'm pretty sure. Um, so he's lost his whole tail section, half of his fuselage, he's going down, that's a kill for me. So, so far, one kill for my, uh, squad mate, and one kill for me. And the Yak-9 is that little speck, it was trying to chase me, but couldn't keep up. I only had 300 rounds of ammunition left for the 7.92mm machine gun, so what I, what I did was I just, uh, evac back to base. And uh, basically, yeah, it, it ends right there. Don't need a recap here because it's pretty much the same as last week. Um, know if your enemy's going to overshoot and then lose all his energy, etc. The second one was use your aircraft to its strengths, and that's definitely what we did there with the 109. We used its speed and climb ability and knowing when to fire. So, yeah, all of those put together, as well as good teamwork, uh, worked out really well for us. And we eventually won the game. Alright, thanks for watching guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like and yeah, have a good one.